Is it true, Jerry, that you met Stephen King and did he really read some of your books? And what was that moment like? It was really bizarre. We, we had the same uh, audio reader, uh, one of the best in the business. His name was Frank Muller. And uh, he won all the audio awards and everybody in the business knew Frank was the best. Well, he had a terrible motorcycle accident several years ago and was so had such severe brain damage he could barely speak, let alone ever read books again. And uh, this was during the heyday of Left Behind, and so I had some means, and I was sending uh, some money to a foundation that was helping with his care. His care was in the millions because he was in rehab, and and uh, he had a young family. And and uh, one day I'm sitting right where I'm sitting right now, and my my secretary buzzed me, and she said Stephen King is on the phone for you, and I. <laughs> I thought, you know, this has got to be a brother of mine or a friend of mine, you know. And so I, I almost picked up the phone and said, yeah, this is John Grisham, you know. But uh, I thought, well, just in case it really is him, I just said, this is Jerry. And uh, he said, yeah, this is Steve King. And I thought, only Stephen King would call himself Steve. And he said, you, you may not know this, but I'm behind the fund you've been sending to. I used a different name because I didn't want people to, to give because it was me. But he said, you and I are the only ones who are really giving to this in, in any you know, real substantial fashion. And uh, he said, we should go visit Frank in rehab and, and do a benefit for him and that type of thing. And so we chatted a little bit. And I, and I said, well, this may come as a surprise to you, but I, I'm a reader of yours. And I said, I don't read the worst of the you know, demonic or the graphic stuff that you enjoy writing. But like The Green Mile and Misery and some of those I really have enjoyed. And he said, well this may come as a surprise to you, but I'm a reader of yours. And that just about knocked me off my wow. chair. And uh, he said he, he had read Left Behind because Frank Muller had sent it to him, told him he was doing that. And, uh, and he said he'd read my baseball novel. Stephen is also a baseball fan. So we kind of hit it off and, and have kept up over the years. And Writer's Digest even did a cover story on us, referring to us as sort of strange bedfellows, the horror writer and the Christian writer who you know, kind of <laughs> keep up with each other. And we did visit uh, uh, Frank in, in rehab, and, and uh, it was a really special day. 